you guys, Heavy Metal 95 here. Welcome to the 2024 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2005 to 2007 categories for movies. And there's going to be some cartoons and some anime on here. Because I know a lot of you want to check this one out. So let's dive right into this video. Today, on the Physical Media Video Library series. brand new video so let's dive right into this category for movies tv cartoons and some anime that came out between 2005 to 2006 evan so let's begin so i'm gonna have a stacks of it because you know shrek third is on loan to somebody for now because but that's just besides the point so let's not waste any more time first one here i got is let's start off with the stacks as well these ones i got are Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith, which is the best of the, the prequel trilogy of the Star Wars movies. The Legend of Zorro, Serenity. Even though Serenity is one of those movies that have helped to have seen the show, Firefly, The Exorcism of Emily Rose, The Grudge 2, I got this at a thrift store. Talladega Nights, I got this on DVD a, a while back at a, a library book sale during my... DVD and Blu-ray haul video, in case if you wondered as well. Um, Fast Food Nation, I haven't seen that movie, but I still yet to watch because I don't, I haven't even seen it yet. Final Fantasy Seventh Advent Children, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, Monster House, Persepolis, The Simpsons movie, Blades of Glory. August Rush, and I Am Legend as well. Even though on my old previous videos I did a while back, I did sh show you that I mentioned Beowulf. Because the techniques what that they used in Beowulf is the same techniques that they used for Polar Express as well. And finally, we're just um, cartoons once again. And this time I have her here that I haven't shown you before. Tom and Jerry Tales. Volume 3. This is like one of the later Tom and Jerry cartoons under the Tom and Jerry franchise. Well, I have never actually seen it, but I've seen bits and pieces of it, though, when it was on Cartoon Network. Because this is like one of the, the later series, not the original. Although the original Tom and Jerry are just a series of short films from the 30s, 40s, 50s, if I remember, though. For all, in case you all wonder if you ever been watching this channel, that I wanted to get the big one of all, which is uh, Metalocalypse. I really need to get Metalocalypse on DVD or Blu-ray, because it's only five, four seasons on either DVD or Blu-ray. I'll pick them up one of these days at one point as well, because that'll get you going. And finally, we're into the anime, because I have a whole stack of anime. I have Full Metal Panic, The Second Raid, Nagima, Volume 1, Kyo Karo Mao, Season 2, um, Full Metal Alchemist, The Conqueror Shambhala, Basilisk, Tsubasa Reservoir Chronicle, Gun X Sword, Martian Awakens Romance, The War Games as Volume 4, and what's that other anime I have? Shaku, Shakugan no Shana, and I have the complete series, first season of Ah My Goddess, which is the later series, because this is the 2005 series, although on my previous video, I do have the original Oh My Goddess OVA series, because I like the OVA from the 90s, because that one brings me very charm to this as well, because even though it's in my anime collection, though, However, this is the later series on there. Another anime I have, I got some more stacks of them right here. I have um, Pretty Cure Splash Star, um, Magicano, Pumpkin Scissors, Le Chavalier Dion. Um, what's that other anime? Um, Ayakashi Samurai Horror Tales. 
UFO Ultraman and Valkyrie, the OVA Special, Death Note, XXXholic, Code Geass, Lelouch of the Rebellion Season 1, I Need to Get Season 2 from Anime Legends under Bandai Entertainment, Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monsters, Black Blood Brothers, Ray the Animation, this is a bootleg, Living for the Day After Tomorrow, I got this on DVD, which is part of the $5 blind box from uh, Right Stuff a while back. Even though Right Stuff's been out of business because all the, the items are now under Crunchyroll Store. Even though I don't order anything from Crunchyroll Store before, yet. But we'll talk about that later. The Girl Who Let Through Time. This is one of the greatest Mamoru Hosoda films. Moonlight Mile. The Skull Man. Ah oh My Goddess, Flights of Fancy. This is Season 2 of Ah oh My Goddess. Bakugan, Bleach, Diamond Dust of the Rebellion. This is the second movie. Most of the Naruto Shippuden DVDs. Genshiken 2, Shattered Angels, Sword of the Stranger, Toward the Terra, and the complete first season of Mobile Suit Gundam 00. I'm here. Because I have a whole stack of anime I, ha I have right here. In case you all wonder, because I had this in my Gundam library of my in my anime collection as well. As you see, it's right there as well. <coughs> but then again, speaking of which, because even though I have been listening to a lot of metal, there's something I really need to get that I also don't have, one of those, like, documentary ones, Get Thrashed, the story of thrash metal. That's another documentary, because I wanted to get into the whole depth of how I wanted to get into the whole thing for the metal music documentaries, because I just wanted to come by for this, because that is something I wanted to get that I don't have, that's why along with all four seasons of Metalocalypse, which is one of my favorite shows on Adult Swim, because that show made me a as a metalhead, because I've been listening to a lot of metal, because, why not? Because I look, listening to some metal is very good, though, and... There's the Army of Doomstar. I really need to get the metal, which is one of the uh, the movies that Metalocalypse has as well. Because I don't have it, but I will pick it up on like a Blu-ray or something. Because this is one of the most prominent shows on Adult Swim. Because, well, it was a tough, picky decision because when I was wanting to get on favorite shows that were on Adult Swim. So, as a, when I was listening to, like, a lot of metal music, so I picked Metalocalypse, because I really need to get Metalocalypse, because this is one of those shows that I really want to get as well, that I don't have. In addition to that, there's other shows, like, I wanted to get, that I remember watching it on A&E, uh, Gene Simmons Family Jewels, that's another one as well, because I think I remember watching Gene Simmons Family Jewels on A&E a, a while back as well. I wanted to get the limited edition, complete first season of Gene Simmons Family Jewels, because the, I heard that came with a CD, a, bo a bonus CD, because it has the demo version of Rain Keeps Fallen on there, which I'm guessing this song is that song that also appeared in uh, the Gene Simmons Vault Experience box set. Even though I don't have the Gene Simmons Vault Experience box set as well, because it has like a collection of these demo tracks that weren't featured, because those were like a throwaway as well, because... I'm wondering if Spotify would have gotten a hold of those demo songs that Gene Simmons did. Like, the those audition demo songs that are on the Gene Simmons Vault Experience box set. Like, 
I'm pretty sure Spotify could get a hold of it for the, the music as well. I mean, that would be awesome if Spotify would have got a hold of that as well. Not necessarily like box set store, not box set ones, no. I'm just talking about the music that were transferred, that were, that you could hear for free on Spotify. Yeah, because I have heard of Spotify before. I think I've been listening to some music on Spotify, if I remember, because that's particularly for what I come by on listening to some Spotify as well. Although I may collect music on, although I like listening to some music on Spotify for free though, but personally, I prefer buying metal albums on CD as well as vinyl, next will be vinyl records, which I will get them soon at one point. To anyone here who's ever been watching the channel, I have been really getting into collecting metal albums on CD as well, if you've ever been watching the channel, because, and also, I, I, I have been really getting into vinyl records as well as getting a vinyl record player with a CD, the, you know, the, the vinyl record CD combo player. So I can listen to my favorite albums on CD and on vinyl record as well. Because there's a whole bunch of those, that's why, if you ever want to come across for this. And anyone who has ever been watching the channel, I have been really getting into the Battle Jacket update videos as well. Because I wanted to start collecting patches for my Battle Jacket as well. In case you wondered if you've ever been new to the channel, that's why, accordingly. And that's all I have that I have I've got for this video. So, yeah. So, that's going to be it for my video for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel, especially if you're new to the channel. Smack the like button if you enjoyed the video. Hit the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates if you miss anything new. Be sure to... Click on the subscribe button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, especially if you're new to the channel, because I'm getting into the Battle Jacket update videos and collecting metal albums on CD, and pretty soon I will get some on vinyl, in case you're wondering, especially if you're new to the channel as well. And also, I'm getting into buying metal t-shirts as well, especially for, and there's going to be a lot more surprises as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments in the comment section below if you like as well. And that's all I have I got for today. This is Heavy Metal 95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it. Hope you enjoy it. Hope to see you soon for the next video. Be sure to stay safe and stay healthy. Hope you all have a great day. This is Heavy Metal 95 signing off and thank you for watching my video. And I will see you soon for more videos that I got on plan for what's in store for more here. Take care and goodbye for now.